Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Now I hope you're excited because I'm extremely excited, you know, it's almost Christmas. I've said in the past I love Christmas time, I love winter time, so I'm really excited. And to celebrate my excitement, I've decided to make you guys something really festive, gingerbread. Now the thing about gingerbread is I don't know how to make gingerbread, but that's okay. I went out and looked for a recipe and how to make gingerbread, and I'm going to try to make it as it's meant to be made, not how I would like to make it. I can't really bring you a healthy version because, you know, I gotta learn how to make it first. So it's going to be a learning experience for me, maybe it'll be a learning experience for you, but hopefully it'll be a fun experience for both of us. Also, yeah, this is a Christmas related video and I'm not wearing red or green. I guess we can't be perfect. Okay, so let's get started. We're going to mix in some of our dry ingredients in a big bowl. The ingredients are going to be appearing on your screen, so do watch out for that. By the way, I did preheat the oven at 350 degrees, so make sure you do that too. So the thing about this recipe is, it is a bit sweet, for me at least. So what I did was, I doubled the nutmeg and I quadrupled the ginger. Now, so if you're like me, you don't like sweet things too much, and you like gingery things a lot, then you might want to do the same. If you have a really strong sweet tooth, then don't. But make sure you don't fool around too much with the nutmeg, only double it because it is quite strong. So here's the milk mixture. And now we're going to make the molasses mixture. So at this point we will have three mixtures and we will combine them all half at a time. So this is where I ran into an issue. I should have used a bigger bowl for the sugar and molasses mixture. Make sure you do use a big bowl for that. Because as you'll see soon, there's no way I can fit the flour in here. So I had to make space. Well, you'll see that in a little bit. So here, put in half your milk mixture into your molasses mixture and mix well. And you see here I'm making space because my bowl was not big enough, so I had to fix that. So that's half the flour mixture. Now we're going to repeat the process. We're going to put in the other half of the milk mixture. Mix that in well. And now we're going to put in the remainder of the flour mixture. And we're going to mix that in well. So me being me, I forgot to press record when I was pouring it out. But, you know, I did pour it out, you can trust me on that. I would not lie to you guys, come on. So put it in the oven and we're gonna cook it for about 40 minutes on 350 degrees. Remember to wave them by as always. So here's the thing after I cut it out a little bit. It was really amazing and really delicious. Wow. That is really good. I hope you guys liked that recipe and I hope to see you guys again next week. Nice and easy, but more importantly, nice and lazy.